Welcome, welcome to my guide to Smart Splitters, Overflow Management, and Auto Sorting. So, yeah, that's about that what we're going to have a look into today. So, we're going to head right in. So, what are Smart Splitters? Smart Splitters just work like normal splitters themselves, but you can define for each output which item should go through there. With the smart filter you can uh, only define per output one item or um, any items or any undefined items. With the programming splitter you can define multiple items per output but that's uh, all the different there is from programmable to smart filter. So from here on out we will only speak about smart filter because the same for programmable splitters too. So the main purpose you're using smart splitters for are splitting um, a belt with multiple items on it and sorting it to different protection lines or bins or whatever. So um, what I did here is I programmed each of those splitters uh, with um, the left line going off to, to split off a certain item and have um, the center output defined by any item. This works really really well but un only under a certain condition and that is that the same item isn't on the belt twice in a row. If it is it will split the items between the two belts like you see here. So we have two plastic in a row it splits between the two belts. But there are a few possibilities we can do to make sure that the splitting is done correctly. The first one, of course, is we can have an intermediary items that make sure that there are never two items on a row. So I did use coal in my example, but of course you could use any other item too. So I just merged at the last point a uh, coal line with my normal mixed items like and make sure that way that each second item is a call at least. It might be that there are two calls in succession but that isn't really a problem. I show you later why. So that way as you can see I make sure that we have always call between the items and the splitting works just fine. And of course more importantly it overflows as soon as one line is full or blocked. So what I did is I set the call splitting to any undefined. That way I make sure that even if there are two calls in succession, all call will go to the one container to the buffer on to the binning to line. And if splitter after that, I always place the center output at any and only split the one items I want to split off at that junction. Just as a heads up, this whole behavior is a little bit wonky. So I really wouldn't be sure if the developers um, change that around in a later patch. But I would guess if they change it, it is so that an overflow like we're trying to do here will come more easy. So I don't really see um, a big problem there, but it could be that the system doesn't work in a future patch anymore. There is another possibility we can do and that is um, using vehicles. Vehicle has also the benefit that we have the full line for the items and don't have to implement additional items in there. So what we do is uh, after we split the items off, we feed them in a vehicle terminal. Doesn't matter if it's uh, gas powered vehicles or if it's trains and the items go in the station and out of the station um, uh, directly and go to the buffer or container where you want the items have till they overflow. Then on that station we have a vehicle which transports items from that station to another station. The thing is the station will always be empty unless our container overflows. As soon as the container overflows, 
the items will um, get collected in the station and the vehicle will start to transport those items. So now those overflow items instead of blocking the lane um, will get collected in the second station and from those that second station they can be transported to something like a sink or wherever you like them to have. But you need one station for each item sorted. So the sorting facility, if you use those um, trucks or trains, um, could get a little bit big and convoluted if you want to have it for many items. But it's kind of fun, I think. Also, as something I can't show you sadly at the moment, there is a mod out there called uh, Advanced Logistic. It doesn't work at the moment with Update 3, but I'm pretty sure it will get um, updated for Update 3 pretty soon, probably in the next month or two. Um, with this mod, you can um, place an advanced splitter uh, where you can define an overflow to one line. So you don't have to use trains or stuff like that. It just works um, by a new splitter type itself. So you still would need, uh, need the smart splitter, of course, but you have a smart splitter. Or from the smart splitter, you could have the overflow managed. Lastly, you can use overflow with pipes too. So that's pretty useful, for example, if you have a fuel generator like that and only want to have the overflow package, you just uh, raise the pipe um, because with the pipelines, the lower the pipe is, the earlier it will get the fuel or the liquid. So by raising a pipe, you make sure that only if the other pipes are satisfied, that raised pipe gets um, the liquid. As you can see, um, it's really only a little bit overflow I have here, but it comes through the pipe little by little and the other pipes stay full. Here again as I have a few, you can see it with the pipe uh, indicators. So the uh, pipe before the raised part is uh, pretty full and the pipe to the full generators are full too and the pipeline behind the race is um, not quite empty but close to empty and only gets the overflow. That's how you can manage um, overflow with pipes too. So I do that just to make sure my containers and storages stay full and I can feed the overflow in the resourcing. Yeah well that's about that for what I wanted to tell you. I really hope you found the video informative. Um, I would love to if you give me a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you don't want to miss my new videos, my upcoming uh, pipeline part 2 guide for example, or if you want to support the channel just subscribe that that really really is um, a big help too. Bye!